Explorers, this is a friendly reminder from the UNPSC not to attempt to leave the Pechorsk exclusion zone, as demarcated by the electric fence surrounding the site. We deeply regret the necessity of this measure, taken for your own protection, as well as for the protection of anyone attempting to enter the zone. Exposure to radiation and other after effects of the event have made the world outside the exclusion zone toxic for those who were in close proximity to the asteroid strike. Every survivor who left the exclusion zone before the area was corded off died within hours, despite the best efforts of the UNPSC's medical specialists. No medications or surgical interventions, not even the creation of controlled environments, succeeded in slowing the deterioration of organ function in those unfortunate survivors of the event. There have been no medical breakthroughs since that would suggest that doctors would be able to save a survivor who exited the zone. We hope that our research, with your assistance, will in time permit for such a breakthrough. Meanwhile, the UNPSC is with you in your efforts to maintain whatever normalcy is possible under the circumstances. We are committed to providing you with everything you need for a safe and comfortable existence in return for your continued cooperation.
UNPSC, Explorer 12, Log 8-13, Fragments. Fragments are humanoid in appearance, although it is unclear whether the material they are composed of is biological in origin. We have observed over time that the bodies of fragments have a texture reminiscent similar to rubber and of wool. And though they are not as warm as living human beings, their body temperature is higher than that of inanimate objects. This debunks a myth prevalent in the first few months after the event among the changed and even some UNPSC scientists that fragments are reanimated corpses. There is, however, a new and more dangerous myth circulating. A few explorers claim to have recognized missing colleagues among fragments and insist that, therefore, at least some fragments are former change. One explorer reported killing a fragment that had the features of his romantic partner who had disappeared sometime prior. He subsequently received extensive counseling for PTSD, which unfortunately seemed to have been insufficient, as he eventually cut off contact with the UMPSC and other explorers and is presumed defunct. Such are the unfortunate consequences of unfounded speculation about the nature of the zone phenomenon. Other field researchers I have interviewed are in agreement with the UMPSC that fragments are not in fact former changed. I advise explorers to set aside any doubts on this account and defend themselves as necessary when encountering these dangerous creatures.